Hi, this is Dave of L. David Likes Photography, and uh, some questions came up in my study group for the Certified Professional Photographer's Test, and just wanted to document them here. Uh, size 16 rule equivalent exposures. There's four factors that control exposure. Aperture size, shutter speed, ISO setting, and brightness of the scene. Basically, exposure is a combination of aperture size and shutter speed, which control the amount of light entering the camera. Consider the ISO, the sensitivity camera sensor to accept that light. How bright the scene is is determined by what settings you use on the camera. The f-stop, the shutter speed, and the ISO need to be set on the camera so as not to make a final image too light or too dark. Some questions came up uh, that uh, was read in the book about doubling and have, having exposure. And um, we're going to use this chart. And uh, basically, what may be on the test uh, question as far as uh, verbiage is uh, to move from one number to another is a stop. So any any f stop, um, any shutter speed change, or any ISO change is one stop. To add one stop, less exposure is have having the exposure. The camera sensor is getting half the light. Um, adding one more stop exposure is doubling the exposure. So, for example, if you go from 5.6 to f4, that is doubling the exposure because a smaller number equals a bigger aperture diameter. And that's for the aperture or f stop. And for the shutter speed, to go from 15, which is actually 115, to 30, which is actually 1 30th of a second, you're having the exposures. It's less time the shutter is open. Now, the sunny 16 rule is uh, for the correct exposure on a sunny day. You walk outside and you got your camera on manual and you want to get a good exposure. Just set your f-stop to f-16. Set your sh shutter speed to 1 100th of a second or 1 1 25th and set the ISO to 100. Now the exposure chart as I mentioned is in full stops and this isn't a full full chart but it's uh, it's just to give you an idea uh, how to use it and uh, in this case on the chart I've uh, uh, put in red the size 16 settings F16 125th of the shutter speed ISO 100. The bad news is uh, you got to remember this chart uh, for the test and uh, may even have to go further on down from F4 which gets a little more complicated with the, the way the numbers are but anyway okay I went outside with my camera and uh, I set to 125th at F16 using ISO 100 and lo and behold I got a good exposure so that's using the size 16 rule, and, and I focused on this um, center uh, light on these uh, garage doors over here. Okay, so what is the equivalent exposure at F5.6 for the same ISO setting? So this is how you use this chart, okay, to figure out what the equivalent exposure would be to the size 16. So right now we got a size 16 rule. We put X's in everything. F16 is X. We put an X in 125th and X in 100 for the ISO. Okay. And then anytime you move to the left from your X position, uh, you add a minus sign to each stop. So we went 1, 2, 3 to 5, 6. It's a negative uh, 3 stops. And from your X position on the shutter speed, if we go to the right, then you add a plus sign. So we go one, two, three, uh, plus sign on the right. So moving to the left, add a negative, moving to the right, add a plus. So basically what you need to do to get equivalent exposure is add up the changes in exposure to equal zero. So the F-stop decreased in the number so give that a negative 3. Therefore, to find out what the shutter speed is, we had to go to the right and increase it by 3. And um, if, if I back up here for a second, you can see we went to the right 
and uh, that went from 1 25th to 1 1 1,000th of a second. Okay, so the equivalent exposure is F5, 6 at 1 1,000th of a second, and that would be at the uh, same ISO of 100. And uh, here it is. So I set my camera on 1 1,000th at F5, 6 at uh, ISO 100, and now you can see uh, the exposure didn't change, but the blurriness of the image did. Okay, and uh, show you before and after. Originally, f 516th at 125th, uh, center, uh, focusing on the center light, you can see uh, we have a lot more what they call depth of field, which is more of the images in focus around this, your focus point. And at 56, which now we change from f16 to 56. Uh, and change the shutter speed to one one thousandths. You can see now that the um, uh, the background is blurrier, and so is the foreground uh, around this center image, uh, which is the uh, the light. And uh, so that's what you would do uh, when you set uh, your camera for equivalent exposure. You might want to change depth of field, but you want to keep the exposure the same. And as you can see in these both these images the exposure has not gotten darker or brighter. Okay, and okay, let's try another equivalent exposure. What if the ISO has changed from 100 to ISO of 25? Then what would the shutter speed be if the f-stop is 5.6? So we're keeping in the f-stop. Originally the f-stop was 5.6, 1 1,000th and ISO 100. Now we're changing the ISO. So the ISO has moved two stops to the right, so that would be a positive, okay? So what do we got to do there? We got so to keep the equivalent. So if we go positive two stops, then we got to go negative two stops with either our f stop or our shutter speed. In this case, I chose the shutter speed. And so to go two stops negative would be to one two fiftieth. So our final image is one two fiftieth second at five six f five six at ISO twenty five. So as I say here, to zero out the numbers, then shutter speed needs to go two stops to the left, negative, which would be 1 2 50th. So keeping equivalent exposure with that, decreasing the sensitivity of the sensor using the ISO by two stops, the camera shutter needed to stay open longer by two stops. So the rule is using that exposure chart, adding the changes in ISO shutter speed and f-stop must equal zero. You add up the three and they must equal zero. If one of them didn't move on the chart, then that's zero. Okay, directional addition. Movement to the left on the chart is negative, so you add a negative sign. Movement to the right on the chart is positive. So, you know, for those that didn't study algebra, adding a negative one and a negative two equals a negative three. And so, um, to zero that out, then you would have to add a positive 3, which makes you go to the right on the chart. So negative 1 went, uh, I could have had two things going negative. I could have had f-stop going 1 negative, and I could have had shutter speed going 2 negative, so that would be a total of 3 negative. And so to zero that out, okay, then I would have to um, change the um, ISO to the right. Uh, to make it a uh, plus three, and that's how you use that uh, to figure uh, equivalent exposure. Typically, your camera does this automatically when you're in program mode. You know whether you're in the P mode or TV, which is shutter priority, or AV, which is aperture priority. The camera automatically does that. Um, so in program mode, if you change any one camera adjustment, the camera automatically adjusts to get the equivalent exposure. So conclusion, knowing the Sunny 16 rule and how to get equivalent exposures allows you to set the alternate camera settings in manual mode on a sunny day. And uh, more importantly though, um, since uh, we're studying for the CPP test, uh, if you are taking the CPP test, this info will be most helpful. And um, that's what I have. I'm Dave, L. David Likes Photography. Thanks for watching.